we did 11 aside match the day before in training, like I got the ball into the box and I just remember whacking it. I just went home to my dad and I said, I, I, I think I can play with him. Like, I just think I can do it. And he was like, yeah, so do I. And then from there, I just always been confident. Grew up there, a place called Wigginshaw, opposite the park. I just grew up there playing outside my house. I used to have a little square thing in the garden and a little net with grass. I used to just wreck the grass and my mum used to like moan at me and cry. But then the grass used to just get wrecked so then we had to stop playing. Then I moved on to the park. But I was only like four or five or whatever. So when my dad took me to the park, we used to just play in this little like blade of grass. I'd make him stand in there and just shoot at him and stuff like that. He's like, there's no point shooting if you can't like protect the ball. You're just, not gonna, you're just gonna get tackled, aren't you? Because obviously I was all, I was always the smallest in my team, so I just I had to learn to protect the ball and use skills. Because if I didn't, then I would just get the ball took off me. If I was dribbling and someone's come across and I protect it, like I'd use my body well. I think like, yeah, I'm glad he taught me that. He played Sunday league team. He didn't play professionally or anything. I used to go watch every Sunday morning. We used to sit on the little ball bag and he used to put one of his rain jackets on. I was only tiny. I can't really remember it to be fair, but the one thing I do remember is he was in a cup final, Staley Bridge, I think, and they were 2-0 down and I think they won 3-2 and he scored the winner. So he goes on about. Probably if I didn't have him, I probably won't be a footballer, to be honest. Because I was so little and stuff, like, I used to come over to my dad and say, oh, I want to, want to be diff, like, I don't want to be this small and stuff. And then he used to say to me, like, no, you need, you need to be this small because you learn how to use your skill and then when you catch up to everyone, you'll be better than them. Like, I've got a few pictures, like, when we used to go away and was, like, under 10s, like, like players were massive. Because I used to go home to my dad and say, I, don't, I want to be strong and fast and stuff. And he used to say, you don't want to be because it's not going to help you. And then, like, joking, he was, said something about Pep saying, Oh yeah, he's just waiting for Pep to come. Like, cause obviously everyone knows how Pep plays. And then like, I think like two years later, or he came and then he was like, oh, I told you. And then he was like, now you just have to work to get, like, get in the team and play. I was like, yeah, no. And now I train with him every day. He's just always on about football, just mad crazy details and stuff, which is good. Like, it's help, it helps you a lot. Like, because the stuff he says, like, he'll say something and you think, oh, right, I never thought of that. And then you'll do it and then, like, it'll just become easier. I remember being in Style Park with all my mates. I was walking to the ice cream van, like, down a little hill or whatever. And then he messaged me, just when I'm training tomorrow. And he was like, what will we do? And then I just said, first team, and then he was all gassed. And then I remember reading it and I thought, oh, right, I better not get an ice cream then. then I just didn't get an ice cream. And that was it. They made the biggest deal of when I was first in the squad because they were playing Chelsea away and I was asleep and I remember waking up like, I don't even know why I woke up because it was my day off, but it's good that I woke up and I had a message saying, how fast can you get to the airport when you come in Chelsea, you're in the squad, like someone's not going. I think Cantelo was ill or something. So then I woke, I ran upstairs and I told, I knocked to the door, I said, you're gonna, gonna need to take me to the airport. I'm in the squad and my dad was like, no, you're not. And I was like, I am Cancelo's ill or whatever. And then he was just happy and then, yeah, we went. My debut was at Turf Moor, Burnley away. The full change sees 18-year-old Cole Palmer make his City debut. Like when you said your name, you'd like, your heart just drops and then you just think, I'm actually playing and then you just go and play. I played all right, should have, I should have scored there. But I remember before that, my dad said, when you get the ball in the box, don't mess about, like when it's on your right foot, just shoot. So I was thinking, all right, sweet. And then I got to the game and then I went, I had the ball on my right foot and then I was, and then I just thought, oh, I remember what he said, so I just shot. But normally, like, I would have chopped in because the defender slid as well and then the keeper saved it and I was thinking, no, like, should have, done, should have chopped in, but yeah. 
So I was in the squad on the Saturday, I think it was at three o'clock. Have to go out of play, that'll signal the arrival of Cole Palmer. It's a sixth Manchester City appearance. I think I spoke to someone who like knows the rules of the like saying if I play a certain amount and this can I go and play over there to the 23s. So obviously if you're gonna play like 45 minutes or something, you're not gonna go and play another game because obviously you'll be tired or whatever. So then I was like, if I was to play 20 minutes or less, I'd go and play over there. There's a picture of me sitting next to Pep like when my arm was out, because like, he's saying, can you play now and play later? So I was like, yeah, I think so. And then Rodolfo come over and I explained it, saying like, I can play both games. So then I only went on for like two minutes or whatever. And then I remember coming back in, it was about five o'clock. Like I still kept my socks on. And, my sh and I changed my shorts because it has a number on. I still kept my socks on and just put some pants over. And then, like, Jack was asking me what I was doing. And a few others asking me what I was doing. Phil said, where, where are you going and stuff? And then I just told him, and he was like, dead surprised. There's only a little bridge, like, you just, you just walk over to the bridge and you're there. So it weren't like it was dead far, it was just a two minute drive over. That night, I just felt like I had loads of energy for some reason. I don't know why, but then I was just doing all sorts. And then I scored two in the first half. And here is Palmer on the ball, and he's tucked it into the net off the inside of the post. There it's cleared as far as Cole Palmer, and now City do have a much more comprehensive lead. And then I couldn't score in the second half. And then I think it was like 80, 85th minute or something, I got a ball on the edge of the box. Now Palmer. Decides to have a go, and there's the hat trick. And what a wonderful way to conclude it. Whipped it and it went top corner, that was it. My first goal at the end, yeah. That was my favourite. That was probably the best moment of my life, to be honest. And when I got put on, I had a chance before that, and like, I just like, I snatched that because I was just dead excited, you know what I mean? And then I remember getting the ball on the halfway line and turning. And I just seen loads of space in front of me, so I just ran with it. And then I seen Riyad on the right, and I thought, like, what, what should I do? Should I pass it or should I not? And then I just thought, oh, I'm going to shoot, and the shot went in. Go alone. And what a decision it was. My plans are in the next couple of years um, break into the City First team, regularly play, be a part of the team, um, win trophies, and stuff like that. Just a dream in it, to go in every day with the best players in the world and train, like the mates and stuff. Just got to keep going in every day, improving, and just think I've still got a long way to go, to be honest.